last time at Richmond. Ryan Blaney and William Byron lead the field to green at the crazy, intense, and exciting Richmond Raceway. Eh, who am I kidding? The first caution comes out when Kurt Busch forgets where the gas pedal is and gets pushed by a Ford. Speaking of Fords, Ryan Blaney leads the first 128 laps and wins stage number one. Man, he's led a lot of laps this season. It's only a matter of time until he can finally win one this year. Daniel Suarez drifts out of turn number two with a little help from last year's winner, Alex Bowman. After the green flag pit stops have fully cycled through, Martin Truex Jr. would come out as the new leader. Last week's winner, Ross Chastain and Ryan Blaney, have a little talk. Well, you know what they say, bumpers speak louder than words. Martin Truex Jr. goes on to win stage number two, and Ryan Ra Blaney and Ross Chastain bump into each other again? Come on, guys. With a little help from Eric Jones, Cody Ware gets spun and smacks into Ricky Stenhouse Jr. That wouldn't be the end of the 43 bumper fiascos. This time, Austin Sindrick was the victim, as well as the two numbers below Jones. Oh look, there's smoke again! Oh, uh, Eric Jones is running into people again? Kyle Busch gets called down pit road when a piece of tape that wasn't supposed to be on his car ended up on his car. This would put him a few laps down and basically end his competitive day as there are now less than 50 laps to go in this race. The race looked like it was going to be William Byron's to lose, and that's exactly what he did. Denny Hamlin goes from 6 and 17 seconds behind to passing for the lead in just 25 laps. This would be Denny Hamlin's first win and first top 10 of the 2022 season. This was also the seventh different winner of 2022. Looking back on this race, it wasn't so bad. Hopefully the rest of the short tracks will be even better.